Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira Roadmap tutorial, we are going to learn about different planning scenarios that you can enable in Jira Advanced Roadmap and do the planning with different what if conditions. So in the high level planning, it most of the time becomes really complex and there are many factors that might impact the delivery of the overall solution. So in that particular case, you need to come up with some sort of plan wherein you consider different conditions that might impact the delivery timelines. So Jira Advanced Roadmap provides very good feature and we will understand that in this particular tutorial. So let's get started. So by default, the different configuration so basically the what if scenarios planning won't be enabled so in order to enable you have to go to the three ellipses here click on configure and you will see that there are planning scenarios in the advanced section you will see the scenarios okay so by default it won't be enabled and you won't be able to see it in the plan so you have to enable it so enable scenarios and then it will ask you what scenario or you can create different scenario right so any changes that you do in this current scenario will only exist exist in this scenario okay so whatever scenario you can create multiple scenarios from here or from the plan I'll show you that as well but you have to specify the title say for example this is the initial scenario that you are planning and then you can choose the color of that plan or the scenario as well so we'll create the initial scenario and the initial scenario will be added if I want to add another scenario okay so I'll click on creates scenario and in this case you can choose either a blank scenario or a copy of the initial scenario okay so I can say I'll create a copy of the initial scenario and then I'll update the details in the scenario that I'll create right so say for example this is best case okay so this is best case scenario I'll name it as best case and I'll copy from the initial scenario and I'll create it and then you will see that the color is basically whatever color you have chosen now these two scenarios so for example we have created now let's go back to the plan and you will see the scenario drop down appears now okay so by default this won't appear unless and until you go into advanced section and enable it so now I can as a portfolio lead or portfolio director I can come in and update these scenarios based on the different what if conditions so say for example the best case would be that all of my stories go as they are planned there are no blockers there is nothing that is blocking and everything is very well aligned and then it moves or the work moves as per plan okay so in that particular case I'll do all of that planning accordingly and after that say for example this one will be part of the sprint 2 and this is sprint 2 and this will be basically give us the indication that when my overall or when my work will be basically finished right so let me add it into the sprint 2 sprint 2 so this is what we have done basically for the best case scenario okay so this is what you will do as a portfolio lead to do the planning of the overall delivery or the portfolio level delivery or release right once you have done this best case or this all planning only remains in this particular scenario okay it does doesn't go back and update into the Jira issues by default unless and until you select a scenario right so for example I select this initial scenario and then click on review changes and publish those changes or save those changes into Jira right so if I change this best case now to best case so you'll see review changes still there and whatever details I have chosen for example the sprint to wherever I have chosen it still persists in this particular scenario so whenever you do a scenario what if scenario planning in that particular case depending on the scenarios that you choose the details or the plan basically is saved in that particular scenario and will give you a indication of what happens if those conditions are fulfilled or those conditions are not fulfilled right so you can keep creating the scenarios based on the different conditions and the outcome that you expect into your portfolio to create a scenario from directly from the plan you can click on create scenario from here this plus sign or to manage scenario you click on manage scenario and it will take you to the same screen here from here you can delete the scenario or disable the whole scenario thing into the Jira 
advanced roadmap so if you click on disable here you can click on disable or complete the disable process if you click on it, it uh, this bu this button it will disable the scenario into jira advanced roadmap okay so this is a brief about the scenario planning or the scenarios into jira advanced roadmap and how you are going to utilize the scenarios to plan your work based on different what if conditions so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching